let me just share a couple pieces with us. This is this is from Reuters. It's uh, from uh, May 21st. That's uh, today. Japan launched a trade complaint at the World Trade Organization on Thursday, today, to challenge South Korea's import bans and additional testing requirements for Japanese food after the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster. South Korea's expressed regret at Japan's action and said that its ban on some Japanese seafood was necessary and reflected safety concerns. Japan says several measures taken by South Korea violate the World Trade Organization's Sanitary and Phytosanitary Agreement, the SPS, which is part of the WTO's, you know, set of, you know, corporations around the world, you know, hey, you're just a country, screw you. And that Seoul has failed to justify its trade restrictions as required by the, by the World Trade Organization. So now South Korea cannot say... We are going to test Japanese fish to see if it's filled with radiation before we sell it to our public. I mean, it's not, it, it's not determined yet. It's, not, it's, it's, it's before a tribunal at the World Trade Organization, but the tribunal is run. It has corporate judges. It has corporate prosecutors and corporate defense lawyers. It's a joke. It's a kangaroo court. Story number one. Story number two. This is from um, the I, uh, IB, IB Times. And uh, I picked this up from Cali over at democraticunderground.com. What is the real objective of, of TPP? And keep in mind, TPP has not yet passed, so you can still call your senators and your members of the House and say, don't pass it. And if you're calling a Republican... Call it Obama trade. In fact, if you're gonna, if you are represented by a, by a Republican, go to Obamatrade.com and read the Republican and conservative talking points against TPP. It'll blow your mind. The vast majority of Americans don't want this. In fact, the, the vast majority of Americans, well over half of Americans, in fact, I've got the poll right here. Let's see here. Seventy five percent of Americans want trade that protects workers, the environment and jobs in the United States. Only 11 percent of Americans are in favor of these so-called free trade deals. Seventy five percent of Americans oppose this. And yet it just, you know, the, the greasing the skids of it just passed the Senate. So what is this all about? Well, the, the, uh, this is the amazing thing. This is a 400-page-long report from the U.S. Trade Negoti- uh, US, uh, the U.S. Trade Representative, the USTR. This is the office and person uh, who is negotiating, is in charge of negotiating the American, the United States position on, on uh, so-called uh, free trade, on TPP. And quoting from the... Uh, the ibtimes.com piece. Among the highlights, these are the things, these are the things that TPP will bring you. And this is according, I mean, you can read this over at USTR.gov, US Trade Representative. This is the official United States government position. Among the highlights, food labeling policies, a new law in Peru not yet finalized that would mandate warning statements on prepackaged food with excessive amounts of sugar, sodium, and saturated fats, similar laws in Vietnam and in Mexico. This is, by the way, not from the government side. This is from the IB Times, but you can, it's, it's all there. Similar laws in Vietnam and Mexico, the latter of which recently overtook the U.S. as the world's most obese country. Another law in Chile that would require uh, warning icons on foods that exceed specified thresholds in fat, calories, sugars, and sodium. The U.S. Trade Representative warns as much as 80% of the U.S.'s $312 million in prepackaged food exports to Chile would be affected. In other words, our junk food manufacturing companies will be able to sue Chile and Peru and Vietnam and Mexico and say, you may no longer require us to label our products as not being healthy. Mexico now having the highest level of obesity in the world because people are moving from real food to junk food. (laughs) 